Hi, so today what I would like to do is show my students how to go ahead and edit a document or a slide that has been attached to an assignment. So I am logged in as one of the students and you can see um, that there is a new assignment. Now, if you can't see that there's a new assignment on the stream, you can also go to classwork and see that same assignment right here. So if you open up the assignment, you then go down to the bottom, click the up arrow. You see that a copy of the document or slide that I want you to put your answers into is already attached. Go ahead and click on that. Now, it opens up the document or the slide this document just has very little bit of writing on it. Now, what you need to do is to go to the square with the little arrow, click on that, and then what it'll do is it will open up either Google Docs or Google Slides, depending on what kind of document it is, what kind of assignment it is. And then down here, it'll bring it up. Down here, when you're ready to start typing on it, you hit the little pencil, and you place your cursor wherever you want to begin, and then you can start typing. Okay. Now, when you're ready to move on to another answer or question, you can just click wherever you need to go or hit the return button to go down, down, down to get to your next place where you wanna fill in your answer. Now, if your answer is over here, you can use the, oops, you can use the space bar to go across. Okay, so hopefully this will, um, oh, and then when you're done with it, this automatically saves to your Google Docs and also my Google Classroom assignment. So once you're done, double click your home key, go back to Google Classroom. You can hit the little X and notice we come back to this. Now this document right here is the one you've edited. Now some of you may also have a document that says PDF document and that's okay too. What you would then do is hit turn in. And then once you turn it in, it shows on Mr. Varga's Google Classroom that you have completed it. And then once you've turned it in, I can also go into the document and check your answers. Now, if you by accident turn it in, then you can always go back to the unsubmit button and what it'll do is it will remove it from Mr. Varga's Google Classroom and you will be able to continue working on it. Okay? I hope all this helps. Bye-bye.